I naively thought that I could simply force myself to be positive and everything would be okay, but my life doesn't seem to work like that. For the last few weeks, I've tried to keep my online life positive, but my real life was still full of negative experiences. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, that's just how things are. I can try to run from all the problems in the world, or I can face them. Quite frankly, running doesn't help. If a tiger was chasing me, then yes, maybe running might be a viable option, but you can't run forever. Eventually your legs will give out, you'll be out of breath, something will be blocking your path, you have to turn around and fight, and there's simply no other way. Sure, it's an unfair fight, but life isn't fair. We can only do our best in this world of sin and woe. I have to face life head on, it only causes more stress and anxiety sweeping problems under the rug. Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad once said it fairly succinctly when talking with Walter White, you either run from things or you face them, Mr. White. And what exactly does that mean? I learned it in rehab. It's all about accepting who you really are. I accept who I am. And who are you? I'm the bad guy. Now of course, I'm not saying that I'm the bad guy, but I am the negative guy. I see problems in the world and I have to say something. I can't simply ignore them. Lots of people do, however. They don't want to hear about anything negative. Many videos will actively encourage you to remove negative people from your life. But sadly, I have to accept, I'm one of those people. I'm the negative guy. I've tried to be positive, but it doesn't work. Well, not always. Of course, I can be positive in certain situations. I'm not going to mope around work talking about all the bad stuff all the time, making my colleagues upset. I'm not going to be negative around my family all the time, especially when something good has happened to one of them. But in the online world, I can be myself without fear of persecution. Of course, there will be the haters, but that's easy to ignore. There's plenty of automated features to stop messages of hate from reaching my inbox. So what does all this mean? Well, my little positivity repository experiment is over. Rather than delete all my videos, I'm going to upload all of them to this channel. Daily Rant Australia is going to become a dumping ground for all my thoughts, both positive and negative. This will also help to simplify my life. I don't really have the extra time to maintain multiple channels anyway. So that's it. That's my plan. Just as Jesse Pinkman had to accept that he is the bad guy, I have to accept that I have lots of negative stuff to say. This is Daily Rant Australia, and I'm back to fill the void. I sing, I rant, I rave, but today, clansmen, my sword is my voice.